Mike's Daily Podcast. I have some paper here in order to write things. Look, we got a special guest. It's Mike Matthews with special guest Ken. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you today? Mike's Daily Podcast. I don't have headphones on, so I can't, can't hear, the song. hear the song. You're not hearing the music behind the song, so you can sing any lyrics and you won't be wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> And I don't know if I'll be able to follow along. <laughs> That's okay. I've lost. I'm wrong. <laughs> I I couldn't. Mike's we couldn't finish the song. Podcast. It's okay. Mike, st- all right. This is our podcast. Did, what do you think? Oh, Mike's, Mike's overall daily, daily podcast. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess now the, yeah. I forgot the yeah. Okay. Uh, so podcasts in general, you listen to podcasts on I Spotify? I haven't listened to zero podcasts, but if I do, <laughs> it's on Spotify. Hey, did you know this is a very special FF episode you're on today? Because it's FF episode 2442. That's 2442. It's like a palindrome. No, oh, wait. Is or that, is it, that, I feel like that's right. Is that right? Or an automatopoeia? Uh oh, your microphone <laughs> boom just sagged. It, Ooh, it lost. Don't it. tell my wife. <laughs> but a uh, boom. But I think the palindrome thing was right. Twenty four right. forty two. Oh okay. Where yes. it's reverse, it's in reverse. It goes in the reverse direction and then backwards. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay, good. Well, that's what this is. Today is twenty four forty two. Wow. There is a book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Which was written by a British guy named Douglas Adams, who died. Oh, that's sad. In Santa Barbara. Oh, no kidding. I think... Where you went to college. I think... And where my in-laws live. Yes, yeah, so I think near where your in-laws live is where Montecito? Douglas... Montecito? I think so. Oh, wow. John Cleese lives in Montecito, doesn't he? John Cleese. Where do I know him from? Uh, from Monty Blank. Python. <laughs> yes. I a have Fish Called yes. Wanda. That's right. Yes. Very funny man. Uh, anyway, uh, but D- Douglas Adams... Uh, they made a movie point? with... Uh, oh, wait, here's today's podcast picture. <laughs> oh, what are you doing the picture here's for? Here's today's podcast picture. I'll have to find something. But meanwhile, oh. back to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, They're, they have a thing, a running joke in there about how the answer to the whole universe, to, the ultimate answer is 42. It's just oh. the number 42. 42 is an interesting number even to me, because when I think of 42, I think of Jackie Robinson. Ah! That was his... That was his uh, his number and it's actually retired it's the only number retired in all of major league baseball i never knew that angle of 42 yes and and on jackie robinson day which i believe is april 15th uh they all wear 42 wait does they don't i think daytona beach has a oh the late great basil the boxer Oh, is he, is he barking? He's barking. What's he saying to us? He's saying baseball's great. Yes. Dogs love baseball. Dogs always love baseball. Yeah. They chase the baseball. I guess I'll have a podcast picture. I went to Half Moon Bay. The you I haven't had, been to uh, Benicia, but Half Moon I, Bay seems like your spot now with you and uh, your lovely lady you, friend. I almost said her name. <laughs> you may thank you. I'd have to edit it out. <laughs> well, we, we always have, have to. to refer to her as she Ooh. shall not be named. Yeah, I know. A lovely lady friend. I was happy to talk to her the other day. That was fun. Oh, that's right. We were in the car driving. You're getting uh, fruit bars, fruit pops. Fruit pops, yes. <laughs> but the healthy. real fruit, though, I love those. They're healthy. Mm-hmm. I forget who makes them, but they make that now instead of all that uh, synthesized stuff. Yeah, I hate those synthesizers. <laughs> <laughs> Depeche Mode? No? Yeah. Are you an Ed Sheeran fan? Man, that's so funny. You, so Mike's aware of all of the artists that I don't like. Ed Sheeran, boom, on the list as well. I don't get it. I don't, you I don't, don't Really? I don't think... He, I, I think he's a good singer. I just don't like his music. So it's not like he's bad. I just don't... I don't care. I, I could deal with that without him. Uh, the other artist is uh, Sean Mendez. I don't like Sean Mendez either. No, no. You know, like the, I never got it. But yet I love Harry Styles. Oh, okay. You know Justin Bieber. I think he's a talented guy outside, not outside of music. Seems like he's always in trouble. But I think they're talented. Do you like that Ghost of You song? Oh. I need you more than life. And if I burn this 
for you. Mm -hmm. I'll settle for the ghost of you. And the video is really depressing and sad. He just this, that's uh that's Sean Mendes or or Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, no, I haven't heard no. that song. Okay, I thought that you were talking about Ed Sheeran. Uh, well, Ed Sheeran. What's his latest one? Oh yeah, he had that one. I just know uh, Shape of You, and people just love that song. Yeah, I, shape, I, I don't get it. I love with the shape of you. It was supposed to be about Rihanna, but I think that's they proved that that's not, not true. Not to be. She just huh. had a baby, by the way, with ASAP Rocky. Oh, uh, segue into that. So tell me a little bit about uh, that. How did they meet? All I, oh, well, they've done a few songs together. I know at least one single they did. Uh. On his, I think it was his latest album, or maybe it was one from four years ago. But yeah, they had they've known each other for a few years, and then there was a rumor while she was pregnant that he cheated on her. But oh. that didn't happen because oh. they're still together. And sometimes people are wrong, like TMZ. <laughs> but that's right. Or Paris Perez Hilton. Oh, Perez. He's not a nice guy. I once was at a thing for this was what's her name who we lost Amy Winehouse oh. Amy, Amy Winehouse did a special showcase at the I want to say the Roxy Theater or the Key Club in Los L Angeles in LA. yeah and I went to that and beforehand upstairs they had a little lounge that they invited all the radio station people to sit at and sitting in the booth next to me was Perez Hilton but I had no idea who he was but the lady I was with Juanita who did a uh, who is on the morning show like in, in Ventura Juanita she said oh Mike that's Perez Hilton oh, and I'm wow. like who and then late, that was also the same evening uh, Bruce Willis was there and oh. somebody dropped their keys in the lounge as we were all trying to leave and they're like where are my keys I can't see them it's too dark and this Bruce Willis so this is this is uh, 2007 mm -hmm. Bruce Willis takes out his phone and I don't think he had a smartphone, but he had like a flip phone or something. And uh -huh. he goes, look, the light from the phone, it's like a flashlight. You'll be able to find your keys oh, that's that way. You, yeah, that, that was the flashlight back in the day. And now Bruce Willis, there's something wrong with him now, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, he can't act anymore. He's like, I don't I, I don't know exactly what, what uh, disease or syndrome he has. It's sad because he, I mean, even though he wasn't like the biggest star, he still was pumping out a lot of action movies. Yeah. But... Yeah, it, and all, all kinds of things. He did. He was in a, a Wes Anderson movie, the one. Yes, uh, Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, he was great in that. Yeah. I actually saw him one time. He used to live near me in uh, Hell's Kitchen, um, oh. on 59th Street, uh, which actually is the beginning of Upper West Side for you New Yorkers out there. Uh, but uh, where yeah. are you from originally, I'm Ken? From, I'm from New Jersey. Bayonne, baby. Do you want to say your last name, or do you want to make up a last name? Uh, I can say my last Latrell. Latrell. Yeah, that's Irish. It's yeah. Irish for I'm Irish. <laughs> Is it really? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It's not it's Irish what, at all. I mean, no, no, it is Irish, I, but whether how it translates, I have no idea. By the way, a guy we both know, Russ, he's had COVID now for like three weeks. Yeah, he's, he got it from his wife. <laughs> right. I'm not laughing because of that. I'm laughing at what he said today. His wife gave him. She went to Ireland, and when she came back, she had COVID, and she gave it to him, and they. She says, it's the worst type of COVID. And I said, what, is it O'Malley's Revenge? He goes, no, it's Omicron. <laughs> <laughs> that was our little rest. He's very quick. He's very quick very with quick. his jokes. Oh, man. Uh, what? Oh, Daytona Beach had, I think, has a stadium for Jackie Robinson, by the way. Really? I know we got sidetracked. Is that right? A racing no, no, uh, a baseball, a little baseball stadium. Oh, it might be minor league. It could yeah. be because he might have. I don't know where they, where the spring training was for the Brooklyn Dodger. It could have been because he was a Brooklyn Dodger. He was never an LA Dodger uh, oh. when they had moved the team. He was always. I think he's. He was up until uh, they had moved the team. He was always so maybe when they did spring training in in uh, in Florida. So the, yeah, maybe it's maybe he played there. Jackie Robinson Stadium, Daytona Beach. Yes. There you go. Jackie Robinson Ballpark. Wow. Amazing. Tickets are on sale today if you want to buy tickets there. Um, who plays there, does it say? It says the uh, but it's beautiful, interactive, hottest tickets. I don't know. Wow. That was. I'm sure there's a lot of Jackie Robinson like, stadiums named after him or fields you know, in his uh, name. Yeah. 
they are the I Tortugas. Wish- the Daytona oh, Tortugas. The turtles. But it's a fancy <laughs> word. It's, it's a, a fan- Sp- Spanish yeah. for turtle. Let's, you know, we jumped around a little bit. We have. Do you have the feeling that we jumped around? What was the name of that band that did jump around? Oh, uh, House of Pain. And that was your favorite song, right? Because you used to listen it's to that. It's the only song I know. They, they were Irish too, by the way. Boston Irish. There was, uh, there's a guy I like to watch on YouTube named Carpetbagger. And in fact, once uh, I was watching him do a live chat. And I, I typed and I asked him a question and he answered it in live chat. I was Isn't so, that the he best? said my name. It was the best thing ever. Anyway, he, Cafe Anyway. We're outside of Cafe Anyway, by the way, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. That's right. And he said that, what were we just talking about? I got sidetracked when I said the place we we're at. Shoot. Wait, what? Uh, he said. <laughs> Wait, what? Talk about Daytona Beach? Daytona Beach, Tortugas, the... Jackie baseball, Robinson Stadium. Jackie Robinson. Nah, anyway, <laughs> he's somebody I watch. Oh, okay. Oh, is he in Florida? He's gone to Florida a couple times, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But, but wow, that was a really good story that never came out of my head. <laughs> this is terrible and embarrassing all almost, at once. Almost, almost. But, uh, oh. Mike, what are your... Um, Memorial Day weekend plans. Well, everybody. Because the world wants to know. I will do a podcast. I might go to Benicia. You should. I might go to Half Moon Bay. What are you going to do? I'm going to grill out. You're going to grill out. Hopefully I can open the pool, but I don't think it's going to be warm enough. It was very warm this week, but yeah, I don't don't know. 70 degrees. I did get uh, can jam. For those of you who don't know what Can Jam is. What the is. heck is Can Jam? I know because you told me Can Jam is a already. game you play with two on two, and it's almost kind of like uh, cornhole, but you uh. use a Frisbee, and you throw it at this cylinder, which has a mail slot. Now, if you get it into the cylinder automa- or the mail slot, you automatically win. But there's other ways of scoring points, and it's real fun, and both teammates can get involved, and it's a great time. Carpetbagger goes to different roadside attractions ah, and museums go. and such. We found that we found the avenue you were looking for. Yeah, but it had something to do with New Jersey, maybe. Oh, did he go to New Jersey? He's been he all Hoboken, over Jersey City. Hope he didn't go to Camden. Oh, uh, that's a. So we were talking about music, and here are the benefits that music has your on health on your benefits <laughs> <laughs> on your health. And your well-being. Uh, blood flows more easily when music is played. Wow. that's And you that's need your blood flow. You definitely need your blood flow. Let your blood flow from your brain to your knees. Let your blood flow like a summer breeze. Right now, Ken is feeling that senioritis. Like he can't wait to get out of school and he's going to bust out and he's going to enjoy when, it. You know, the weather's getting warmer. I tried explaining this to Mike, but I don't know if he understands where it's the, like everyone's getting out of school and you just, there's a change in the seasons from spring into summer. And it's just like, it feels wonderful. Yeah. It's when you can roll the window down. It's nice. Crank up the music, crank the, up the tunes, get some tunage in there. Uh, oh, and also music can help reduce your heart rate, lower your blood pressure, decrease really? cortisol. That's that stress hormone. Oh, well, we definitely need that to be And it reduced. increases serotonin and endorphin levels in the blood. Mm. So basically what we've done with this podcast, we've been doing this live, recording mm. it, but almost like we're live. And what I'm going to do is cheat, because right when we finish up the podcast, I'm going to go back and listen and figure out where I got diverted and why I brought up Carpetbagger, and then I want to say what it is at the end. Oh, That's my go. plan. Okay, sounds good. Because I know it was something big, <laughs> and I've lost it. I wonder if it was the boardwalk in Atlantic City. That's a big boardwalk. I've never been there. Yeah, the Atlantic City boardwalk. People used to go there. Not many people go to Atlantic City anymore. It's kind of sad. It was a big attraction. Same thing where, uh, where's um, Springsteen from? Uh, oh, Ash Park? Ashbury, Ashbury, Ashbury Park. Park. Wow. Yeah, that was a big deal back in the day, too. But, yeah. Favorite go- Bruce Springsteen song? Uh, well, Born to Run just came to mind, but I don't think that's it. 1984. Remember we were talking about the fours? Yes. 74, 84, 94. 84 was uh, his uh, Born in the USA album. Really? And I think, was 74 the album that had Born to Run? I don't know. You got me there, man. But 
I'm not I'm not the biggest Bruce Springsteen fan even though I claim uh, New Jersey. Well, there are other people from New Jersey, I'm <laughs> sure that like the the Bon Jovi and whatnot. Yeah, but the, you don't but Bon Jovi's kind of lost his yeah, he's lost his voice from what but, I've heard recently. But uh, not his looks. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> How did he keep his hair all these years? Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I went off. I, I, he doesn't dye his hair that much anymore. He I don't does? Think. Oh, he lets it get white? I think he does, and I appreciate oh. that. Wow. I think that's great. I, I get sick of, like, uh, Neil Sean from Journey, he colors his hair, and it looks so weird. Oh, man. It's like, come on, man. You're old. Just embrace it. I don't know if he's from New Jersey, but I got to shout out that uh, Ray Liotta from Goodfellas died oh, today. Oh, yeah. That was sad. 67. That's really, really sad. Yeah. James Caan was be- uh, broken up about it. Oh. He put it on Twitter. He was upset. Do you know what movie I saw over and over again? Not Goodfellas, unfortunately. Feel the Dreams. He, he's in that. Yeah. That's he's right. Shoeless, he's Shoeless Joe. No, there was a movie he did called Karina Karina with Whoopi oh, Goldberg. Oh, I've heard of that movie. Yes. A- and the young Tina Marjorie, who would later be in Napoleon Dynamite and be the girl that tries to yes, sell I the see, I, You know what? I saw that movie once. I don't remember most of it, but I saw that movie with my wife. And my ex-wife loved that movie and loved the soundtrack. Yes, that's right. Karina, Karina, is is that what they tell like a story or something? Karina, it's a a Whoopi Goldberg comes to stay with them as like a maid. His wife, right? Ray Liotta's wife died, and then they fall in love. They fall in love. That's a beautiful Ray Liotta and Whoopi Goldberg. uh, It's a nice movie. Yeah, and there's a scene where Tina Margarino is crying as a little girl, and. She uh, is crying, and it is the most heart ripping thing you've never. You're like, stop crying! Yeah. It's so sad because she's mad at something. I forget. What I know it is. exactly what you're talking about. I've seen her in so many other movies. Tina Margarino was in a Pink video for the was song she? Uh, "Try." I don't know. You don't, don't know. have to try, try or so try. Uh, it's a it's a one of Pink's songs about you know you've got to pull. Out uh, of your body, your <laughs> one of those strength. encouraging ones that she yeah. always does. Do so you show some backbone? Damn it, is what she's <laughs> <laughs> grow us, grow a pair. That's a that's all Pink's music. But thank you so much, Ken. Oh, pleasure to be here. Thank I, you for having me. A, the, a distant relative of Sean Mendes, Tony Mendes, is about to do his show, so we better get ready for that. Yes, but. yes, he's broadcasting live from where I live now, Lafayette. Don't look ah, me up. Ah, don't look him up. Stop it. You won't find me. You'll never find him. But thank you. And thank you for being on the show. Pleasure. Enjoy your weekend. It, it, it goes by so quickly when you're on the show. Yeah, man. Well, I just uh, will let you go. And now I'm going to play the ending. And then I'm going to remember what it was I got sidetracked on. Okay. The wow, that's wild. Wild. I remember the end of the story. With the carpetbagger, it was He Loved House of Pain's song, Jump Around. And I guess he had it on a single, one of those cassette singles where it was just one song on the cassette and he played it so many times, he wore it out. That was the story. Because back in the 90s when that song came out, they still had singles. Okay, oh, and also speaking of music, the other benefits of music, it ele- it elevates mood. It can boost the brain's product of dopamine, the hormone. Increased dopamine production helps re- relieve feelings of anxiety and depression. Music is processed directly by the amygdala, which is the part of the brain involved in mood and emotions. Music reduces stress. Research has found that listening to music can relieve stress by triggering biochemical stress reducers. It relieves symptoms of depression. When you're feeling down in the dumps, music can help pick you up much like exercise. It stimulates memories. There's no cure for Alzheimer's disease or dementia, but music therapy has been shown to relieve some of its symptoms. Music therapy can relax an agitated patient, improve the mood, and open communication in patients. It manages pain by reducing stress levels, and it provides a strong competing stimulus to the pain signals that enter the brain. Music therapy can assist in pain management It can reduce the perceived intensity of pain. It helps people eat less. Playing soft music in the background during a meal can help people slow down while eating and consume less food in one seating because you're not eating and plowing through it and not enjoying it. You enjoy the music more. And it increases workout endurance. Listening 
to those workout tracks can boost physical performance and increase endurance during a tough exercise session. All that from NorthShore.org, North Shore University Health System. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Look who's here. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Brodeo Queen. Hell yeah! <laughs> It's a disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? Where did Ken go? He had to run over and start a program, a real estate show. Oh, okay, that sounds like a good excuse. Look who else is here. Hello, Mac. I make the delicious group here. How's it right now? I'll punch you in the amygdala. Oh, boy. Thank you. Yeah, please don't punch me. Oh, this group here looks good. Now that's legit. Ah. Okay. That was good. All right, next show, it'll be the wonderful... I make the root beer. Oh, boy. I know. You just said... <sighs> What's going on? Next show, it'll be the wonderful Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. I make the root beer. Oh, boy. Enough. And join us for that next show. Uh, okay, and you can call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily is in what this podcast has been for quite a few days. And you can call in and... Tell us what you think about anything. You know, you can give us your two cents about what we covered about stuff. Add to the discussion, I guess is what I should say. 336-MM-DAILY or email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. And with more, it's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.